the first pick in the 2024 NBA Draft, the Atlanta Hawks select Zachary Rizashi from the Leon Grant. Yes, big congratulations to Zachary Rishkeshe for being the number one draft pick for the Atlanta Hawks. So let's get it, y'all. Oh, yes. I'm your girl, Jackie G, a.k.a. Express Chick. And before I break it down, break it down, baby. Don't forget to drop your comments and please do subscribe, y'all. And I'm very elated for the Ots. You know, they really been going through it, baby. They've been having so many coaches up and down, uh, players hurt. So it's really good that we have a number one draft pick, y'all. Yes. And I'm so glad to have Zachary Rushashire. He's a Euro Cup rising star, and he's really going to benefit us big time, y'all. And what I like is that he protects the rim. He's a big time defensive player. Uh, they say he can play anywhere on the court. And he has a 39% uh, three-point range. So, you know, I've been looking at his highlights, y'all, and he, he look good. I can truly say, I know they say he's not really explosive, but hey, I'm looking at the highlights and it looks like he is explosive. Um, now, I know that the general manager, uh, Landry Fields, said that he's very elated. I'm going to show y'all a little clip of that. Uh, he said he believes he does need to get bigger, stronger, and be able to, um, you know, continue being a good defender, especially when it comes to larger guys. So he's six foot nine, y'all. He averaged at least 11 points per game. So um, I truly believe he's going to compliment Trey Young, DeJounte Murray, Jalen uh, Johnson very well. Uh, now, they say he's not really a playmaker, uh, but he does block very well, and he does play wonderful defense. And, you know, like I said, we will need that. Uh, now, it's a lot of drama going on. You know, I hear rumors about Trey Young going to be traded or DeJounte going to be traded at Clint Compella. But, you know, I really don't know or we don't know what the future holds for Atlanta. You know, eventually we will. So I believe, um, you know, Snyder, you know, they're still working some magic. Now, they really do need to work on their backcourt um, in order for us to be a top contender. We do need more pieces around us. We're going to need more than just Zachary, you know, just keeping it 100. And, you know, if y'all can just let me know what y'all think about it. But um, I know a lot of naysayers saying that um, Cassell is like the top um, prospect from UConn. And, um, you know, they just say they know he can handle the stress. You know, he used to the pressure, you know, since he played for UConn uh, compared to Zachary being overseas. And, you know, he's not really used to the pressure, you know, as being a number one um, prospect, you know. But who knows? You know, it's easy to critique new players, you know. And only thing he need to do is just stay focused and not really listen to all of the social, social media, you know, because if you do, it can really get you out of whack, you know, because you, you need to just stay focused. And uh, back to the hots, I really didn't know what they were going to do when they had five minutes left because I heard that they were going to try to draft down and try to get somebody else. But allegedly I heard that, you know, they wanted too much money. So, hey. Uh, we will see exactly how everything will go. I'm just very excited, you know, to see the new season come. You know, whatever they decide to do, if they trade Trey or DeJounte, you know, I'm looking for a fresh start. You know, it's time for us to go ahead and get some new players who want to be there, who want to ball, 
who want a championship. You know, we need that hungry mentality. So once again, I'm your girl, Jackie G, a.k.a. Sports Chick. And y'all will listen to this uh, short video, uh, the general manager, Landry. And then um, don't forget to subscribe, y'all. God bless you.